Okay, so uh, I have some Targaryen members. Yeah, I'm just going to just talk you through just uh, general defense at the moment and the system we're currently using. So if you currently imagine that uh, the blue team is on attack, uh, do you here have a purple ball, okay? And the purple ball obviously gets rolled back and is about to get thrown out to the uh, first receiver. Now, what's happened to us the last couple of games with... Uh, Obviously USA, okay, so we're just going to do dotted lines for running. Once this first receiver gets the ball, what he does is an arc and run into here, okay? And what this does is, what this does is when he goes in here, he sends uh, this defender who would be coming up, he'd be around here at this point, because he's obviously moving up himself or herself. And what's going to happen is, she's going to follow the arc and run. Okay, let's get rid of this. So she's going to follow the arc and run infield. And what's going to happen is this player here, who's meant to be marking the blue player opposite, is going to become attracted in when this player gets in here. Okay, so what's happening is he's sucking in two players for the price of one. Then they're going to pop off a last minute pass to this person here. He's going to run straight through. The girl on the wing is usually powerless because basically uh, she's been following her own player on the wing. Okay, so this is when you're on attack, you're pretty much looking to do this, but on defense, the best teams seem to do this time and time again. So uh, this is a, basically a standard defense where everybody just marks up on whoever they have, and this player drifts this way. Okay, and you get the two on one in the middle, passes it out straight through. So what we're going to do instead this time around, and I think it'd be a good way to defend an overall, is the minute the ball, the minute the ball goes one way. So our example here, okay, would be the ball once against John in here. The minute the dummy half throws decides on a ball, okay. So at the start of the starter, right, we all usually call out, "This is my marker. This is my marker. This is my marker here." Okay, but what we're actually going to go about doing is we're actually going to go about doing uh, drifting to the right of the defender and push at uh, the right of the attacker and pushing them back inside. So what I'm looking for all people to do is something like this. Okay, is sort of a line like this on defense, and we're talking about this player here is going to be coming in and. Basically, this attacker, first attacker, if he was to come in, he should be going in between these two players here. Okay? So, you can see the effect of this time is the ball comes out. This person tries their arc and run this way, as they did last time. So, when they're on their way down here, what this player is doing is it's purposely, she's purposely trying to keep him on the inside shoulder. And what this enables us to do is for this player to come in as well. And because I'm enabling this player to keep this on the inside shoulder, okay, when this player sees the, the late pass happening, or if, if she does manage to get in here, so basically it's this player's person, okay. So what this does is it gives this player more leeway just to sit a bit more in the middle, okay. So when this player comes in, really has to deal with uh, this player here. Passes the ball like he did last time. And this player here will come in but is in complete view of this player who can assess whether this is a late ball or not and come in to make the tag. Also on the wing, the girl on the wing is just going to be slightly outside this player here. So once again, can just come in and pin, so we don't get done on the outside. So basically what we're looking to do in this play here, our general defense, is every single time the ball, the ball uh, gets put out to one side, what's going to happen is the outside defender is just going to go just outside this girl's shoulder. So instead of lining up directly opposite, what you're looking to do is you're looking to uh, just 
always be just on the outside so it's no longer a straight line it's just like a diagonal okay so once again you're looking always just to fix that player you're marking just so that they're more inclined to go inside than outside and likewise this person here is going to be uh, moving across so that it's more like a diagonal line this way okay so in play what's going to happen for every position is the ball gets passed out up here this person tries their arc and run this person in turn just really trying to stay on the inside shoulder this player comes in this way and what you're sort of doing is you're moving all moving this way as these go straight and we're moving this way so look every player has to go there's no nobody outside so this player only has to worry about inside this player can worry about inside and finally the inside shoulder okay and then if this person takes a step back in what happens is when he takes a step back in this player here will mop up now it's very important that the uh, marker it's very important that the marker here basically does not let them does not let these two here cut back inside it's very important that they usher the player and prevent them from cutting back in so once again as I said as this player comes in trying to get that two on one all our players push the diagonal line out this way okay hence preventing them getting outside us okay so usually the winger the person on the wing will end up outside our winger okay so what we're trying to do is we're trying to just push across and make sure that we're this player ends up more or less on the inside shoulder this player here the free marker can rush across and keep this one pinned in then this player whose only real option because I'm moving here is to run this line here in full view of this uh, in full view of this uh, defender here you can just come in for the tag likewise if you try to skip pass out to the wing the only person that the winger has to worry about is once again on the inside so if that was to happen the, the winger will just make the tag on the inside okay so you might be asking every time when there's a uh, when, every time when the play begins who am I actually going about tagging okay now it's different every time but for the most part what's going to happen is this I want the winger outside their winger just ever so slightly by the time the, the ball reaches the game line I want our second our second uh, player here to be inside this one here so you're basically matching up like this more or less every time okay so you can see what they're doing then this player here matching up in here and this player here becoming the sweep uh, the marker as I said before is just going to be in the general area here trying to prevent any cutbacks to not get beaten on your inside their dummy half might be in here now what the un unactive wing has to do is they also got to come in here they everybody's got a drift right okay so in essence the wing person usually a girl takes the second player in that's if you're on the wing that's not uh, engaged you take this player here and this player here will come in uh, because this player has vacated the area to to provide support okay so long story short where we're in the middle of the game what's going to happen is ball comes out this player here won't do without the ball okay this player here tries to run this line here this player here runs this line here 
this player here runs this line here okay that's where they all end up so that's their star point and this here is their end point so what we're hoping that our players will do is our girl will be just ever so slightly outside her end point this player here will be outside the end point this player here outside the end point this player here in covering uh, the marker or sorry the marker at the rollback what you're going to do is you're going to be in here preventing any passes going in the opposite direction so preventing any balls coming back inside so you don't any passes coming back inside okay because obviously their uh, their scrum half and the last set of play could come in back in here but even if that does happen as I was saying before this person here is marking in here because everybody drifts right so this person if the, even if the dummy half comes in here what we have is we have our player here covering in as well now and then finally the girl is going to push up and be marking the inside player now it leaves one player completely free which is this player here who has all the time in the world to run down the wing but once once the second ball goes out it's very unlikely that it's going to make it to the far wing because of the way the play is set up so look making the far wing is very much I wouldn't say it's going to happen at all okay so look that's the defense uh, any questions let me know